So, first symbol I'm going to talk about, I'm just going from the first to the last track here. <clears throat> um, I want to mention that when you are in a mix, you should always listen to everything. If you hear something weird, go and solo it, but for the greater good, always try to listen to everything and see what really needs to be fixed. So the Hyatt, nothing special going on right here, just a low cut at 280 and I think this was just something that bothers me. Let's have a listen to it before and after. Yeah, okay, you can hear it's it's pretty low. Ah, let me check the snare drum. Yeah, everything's okay here. Um, the volume now is pretty low. That's because a lot of the Hyatt comes through the overheads as well. And I've just get rid of, uh, just want to get rid of the rumble and stuff. Uh, let's have a listen, listen again and um, try to hear for the snare and the kick. So they almost disappear in this microphone. Yeah, let's go to the next one. This is the right. Let's see where we've got a right plate. I think I've played it around the end. Now oh, here's the right symbol. Okay. Okay. So, I've just found something strange on my right track here in the in the plugin section. I fixed it, so don't wonder why now are only one plugin here in here and not four as before. Um, yeah, and also here is n nothing special is going on right here on the right. Just a low cut at 500. Let's have a before and after. So, so this is just like the Hyatt getting rid of the other instruments as much as possible. So let's move on to the China. No, what is it? Yeah, China. Let's see what I've done here. Yeah, same same kind of thing. I've just uh, get rid of some of the other instruments and boosted around 4.8. I think that frequency helps to helps the China to cut through the mix. Yeah, you can hear it's it sounds much nicer EQ'd like this and we also get rid of some of the strange uh, not strange but of the bleed from the other instruments. <coughs> yeah, so the next one is a special one. This is the dig mic. This should help to push the the mid-range of the drums a little more up front so because the microphone is placed in the middle of the drum set it should get sounds from every direction and also records on a position where no other microphone where no other microphone is so this is more an all over track Let's have a listen to it. Okay, I will push it again. So you can hear it's it's more about the shells. This microphone is more about to 
fill in the sound from the shells of the drum kit. Pretty nice pretty nice to have something like this if you're lacking of some of this of the sounds of the sound of, of the drum kit. So let's see what I've done to it. First of all some EQ, removed some of the low end around 100, pushed some of the bass fundamental frequencies more in the middle of every drum. This is a comp compromise mic. Cut it some of the 250 and for 450 this is all also the mid-range boxiness here and pushed around 4k. Let's have a before and after. Let's go to a section where the drums are played a little more. So it just lets the microphone shine a little bit more. I've added also some saturation. I yeah, can hear it pushes the microphone a little a little more. And I've added the talkback limiter. It's a pretty hard compressor. You can also do it with, I don't know, some some extreme compressor you've got in your DAW. So let's put this again on place. Yeah, before and after. You can see it cracks a little more and fills in every. I, I think for me it fills in the gaps 